Hello everybody, you have tuned in to the right place. Let's go! Let me tell you what time it is. Guess what, y'all? It's time for. Let me tell you what time it is. Let me let me tell you what time it is. Let me tell you what time it is. Guess what, y'all? It's time for. Let me tell you what time it is. Let me let me tell you what time it is. Yeah. Today is a day that the Lord has made. We are all rejoicing and are glad in it. Um, I like to say this all the time that obviously we're here because there is a purpose in our lives that we need to continue to um, strive towards fulfilling. And that's exciting to me. That's exciting that I have another opportunity to be able to move forward with a dream that I may have to be able to fulfill my purpose. So um, I definitely challenge you all. I always do some challenges. I challenge you all to recognize that, acknowledge that, and embrace that um, type of peace that you have in your hands to be able to help mold into something great. Um, creativity is an amazing thing. Um, I know that a lot of us are creative. I know that a lot of us have a lot of great ideas. Um, so why not put them forward to, you know, let's execute them. Um, Cause again, this is another year that we have a chance to execute uh, whatever we want, you know, um, and don't let those dreams go to 2021 and still be dreams. Let them be a conclusion of a dream. Um, so I'm here offering hope, hope for all. Um, Cause yes, we are in some trying times at this time. And uh, I debated whether I should uh, reflect on that or should I just keep going with my jovial self. Um, and I truly do choose to go forward with my jovial self. Um, I understand that I don't want people to think that I'm dismissing anything about um, the current state of our nation, um, but we have to have some hope, you know, and I've been seeing a lot of hope in community, um, helping others and people thinking more about we versus me. Um, I heard that statement on the news last night. Um, I have not watched news for a very long time, but obviously you have to be watchful and aware of the environment around us. Um, and he mentioned, uh, one of the reporters mentioned that we need to be more concerned about we than me. Um, and just by going out into the community, um, myself looking for items and whatnot, you could see the selfishness of the community because a lot of us are worried about me and our families. Um, but there's also a lot of people who are going to need us. So um, I definitely am prayerful that we see hope, we see light, we see guidance in making this bigger than, than just us. Um, so my thoughts in all of this is that we just need to stay true and mindful towards each other um, and learn how to share. You know, that's a basic one-on-one. -on -one. Most of us should have learned how to share in kindergarten. And guess what? We are all grown women, grown men, and um, this is a concept that we now have to redevelop in sharing, because sharing truly is caring. Um, there, again, there's a lot of people who won't be able to have a, an abundance of things, um, so we have to be mindful of that. Um, my church was closed yesterday, but they did have online service. Um, it was kind of cool to attend that for the first time. I never did it in my life, but it gave me an opportunity to hear, to worship, to see people who are in um, still in in the mode, you know, of wanting to fellowship. So I thought that was cool. I know not, a lot of other churches did the same thing as well. Um, so just remain hopeful that you know what that's really my message for today is that we just got to have a bigger heart than what we're used to um because at this time it does call for it you know people are still dealing with life on top of whatever is going on in this world so we got to be able to recognize and embrace them um 
I've been praying for a lot of comfort and um, strength for individuals who have lost loved ones. Um, but obviously, I'm also praying, praying for peace of mind as well because of the, the world that we're in. So I want to send you off on your merry little way. Some of us have to go to work. Some of us don't. Um, I know most of us don't have to go to school. So um, you enjoy your best life ever by cleaning up your house. Because I told my son there is no way in heck that we going to be sitting here and not have a clean house. So I went out and brought a mop and everything else. And um, let's go for it. Um, so I pray that you enjoy your day, whatever your day may bring, and, and just recognize what type of world we're in now and why we need you to have that heart. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to wake up yet one more day. Um, obviously, you have something for us to do for you, Lord, for others, because you chose to give us this opportunity. I pray for our well-being, our protection, Lord Jesus, that you be a fence in our minds, in our hearts, in our physical sense, Lord Jesus, be a protector of us. I pray each and every day that you just continue to give us our guidance of your will, that your will will be done, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you.